my friend, this is FPS Russia, and I thought it might be fun to make a little video to show you guys uh, what I do at work and, you know, show you my office here. So I'm going to show you a few of the things that I'm working on right now and a few cool little things I've came across lately. And uh, so let's get started. So this is actually part of an RPD that we're about to put together. That's the, uh, that's the barrel and everything. And here's most of the lower. This is a PPSH-41, if you can imagine it, with, you know, the full barrel and the drum magazine. This is a little uh, Mac 11 that I'm putting together. And uh, I think I'm going to suppress it, make it fully automatic, so that's going to be fun. I actually built this last night. This is a, uh, an M16-style rifle chambered in 6.8. So it's got about as much pop as an AK-47, but it's coming out of the AR platform, which I prefer. And these are really cool. These come from a company called XS, and uh, these are 50-round 308 magazines. And they make them for pretty much every rifle that shoots 308, um, whether it's a Reaper or an AR-10 or an SR-25. And uh, I think they also have them now for the AR platform. I think they're coming out with those very soon. And I've just got a shitload of 308 belted up because well, I like shooting belt-fed machine guns, but. A lot of people ask about some of the holsters I wear in videos, and I work with a company called Bravo Concealment, and they actually just make me, or anyone really, anything they want. So this is a double behind the back uh, holster I had made for my car 40s, so I've got two pistols behind my back, you know, if this were my back it fits against me like this. Both those were pretty cool, but they make a little bit of everything. I had to make me a big holster for my Gold Desert Eagle. I thought, I, I got this just because it's funny. It's a pink 1911 inside the waist uh, holster and uh, call this the Pink Warrior. So they also do things like AR pouches and this is for a Glock. And something I saw the other day that I like a lot and I hadn't really came across it before were these lowers. And these are, uh, I think we got these from New Frontier which is out of Las Vegas. but. They're completely plastic. All of this is plastic, and I'm going to do a lot of torture testing on these. I'll probably make a second channel video like this one for you guys, and just run like a thousand rounds of, uh, you know, a thousand rounds through one of these, see just how tough it is, because that was my concern, and I know that's the concern of a lot of people. It's just how tough these lowers made out of polymer would actually be. And then this one is, it's just really cool. So this is, I took a PWS Mark I upper, stuck one of those new Frontier polymer lowers on there, and it's extremely light. I've, I've got an aim point on here, and seven and a half inch barrel, and this thing is just a flamethrower. I really like this. The rate of fire is somewhere around 1,100 rounds per minute, so it's pretty impressive when you fire it. So that's just what I've got laying around my office. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, maybe showing off the rest of my factory, maybe some of the other guns that you've seen before, maybe haven't seen, or anything like that. But I just wanted to make this, show you what I've got going on in my daily life, and because uh, everyone's always asking. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in any of the stuff, I always get asked, so I'm going to link most of this stuff, the stuff that's legal to a civilian, in the uh, description below. So if you're interested, uh, take a look. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.